a land of unequal possibility where the son of an African immigrant can rise to the highest level of our leadership. The greatness of our nation. We understand that greatness is never a given. It must be earned. This is overwhelming. It's just amazing. We have a new leader and you know, this talk that he just gave here, his inaugural speech was inspiring, it was real, he didn't sugarcoat reality. He, he called us uh, forward uh, and he took us back to our roots, our history, grounded us again. And I think uh, we have a leader here that we have to stand up with and work with. And I'm excited. This is one of the more exciting days. I think this country needs to take its leadership role again. And we are at such a low point that I think any of our hopes are so valid right now. And they're such basic hopes. I mean, he was just talking about love and working together and faith and honesty. I mean, these aren't lofty hopes. These are, these are our base. This is the humanity's base. So I'm excited. We have a leader. Oh, I think it's wonderful that, he's, that he is a new president. And I admire him so much. America has gone downhill. And uh, we need to inspire the rest of the world that we are a good people. Uh, we have to do better things, create better friendship with the other people in the world. Hope is what the good Lord gives us, and we are inspired by that, and we have to live by that. It was definitely an exciting morning. Like there was, there was some, some anxiousness about this morning for sure. Um, it felt, you know, it felt like a new, a new, not only a new day, and pardon, pardon the cliche, but it definitely felt like, you know, a new dawn to a new era. I mean, I feel, you know, Obama ran on the on the premise of, of hope for for a while, and I feel like I, I don't know if it's ironic, but I definitely felt, you know, and feel hope for uh, for the future, especially for the next you know four to eight years. I mean, but for you know, the rest of my life, I think. Um, I think he was, I think he's the right person for the job. I mean, I, I just got laid off actually, uh, right before Christmas. So, you know, the, uh, the economy is, is certainly a, a concern for me right now. Um, the war in Iraq is certainly a concern as I'm, you know, considering you know, military service. Um, but I've, again, getting back to the hope thing, I mean, I, 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 I definitely feel like a man of Barack's character is, uh, is supremely right for the job. I mean, I think that you know, I feel like he's he's definitely up to the task. He has he has a lot of audacity, uh, which I think we definitely need right now. Um, and I I believe in him. I, I have faith in in Barack Obama. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot going on, and um, it's it's going to be difficult. Um, but I really liked a lot of things that he said, and um, he's going to need a lot of help from a lot of other people. And it looks like starting off on the right foot and getting a lot of different people involved, people that don't necessarily agree with all his views, but it looks like he's going to do good about working with other people very well. Great. Yeah. What do you think about Jackson? I love Jackson. Is this it's your great. First visit? No, it's my third time, and I didn't realize Dick Cheney was from Jackson, but I saw he was coming back here. And, um, but you know, I love it here. It was a, a wonderful speech. It was an incredible representation of you American come, spirit, I think, being at the, uh, being at the mall. It was very impressive, very, very moving. You know, I actually really appreciated the focus of the there speech, which was, which was uh, a recognition of American ingenuity. And we do have a unique economy. We have a unique, unique uh, history. And, but also a personal responsibility and that, uh, you know, an expectation that, that people have to engage to make these changes happen. So it's, I, it was kind of a, you know, Shannon described it, my wife described it as tough love. And I think that's a, that's a good way to describe the speech. And yet at the same time, kind of preparing hope for the, uh, for the, for the future, um, for the future years. So I thought it was very impressive. What did you think of the day? I uh, definitely woke up and uh, watched watched him deliver his speech on television. Um, tonight's definitely a celebration. Um, hoping to see a lot of things change and I actually believe Obama can do those. Yeah, I feel like uh, policy definitely doesn't work uh, in such a short time span. It definitely takes a while for uh, <clears throat> policy changes to be made. But uh, 
think we're going in a step in the right direction for sure.